to create more complex helical shapes, we can use the revolve tool and just add a height to our revolves. And these could be very useful in designing, say, coils or springs such as this, as well as very useful in creating threads such as in this design. So let's take a look at creating these springs and threads. I'll start with just my simple suspension system design here. And I'd like to draw in that helical revolve. So I might want to start by jumping to maybe a right view here. And it's actually going to be a fairly simple process. I can just draw my profile that I'd like to revolve. So that's just going to be a circle here. Maybe I'll throw in a specific size and location I would like. And maybe lock in if I'm happy with it. So this will be the profile of my spring. And then I just want to revolve it, probably about my center axis here. So I can draw in a line. Looks like there's a line there already. But again, I'll just delete that and draw in a line right about my central axis here. And now I'd like to revolve about that central axis. So again, as always, can just jump into my tools, and in this case, my revolve tools. First, I want to select my face or my closed sketch that I'd like to revolve. So that will just be this simple circle. Tap Next. And now select my line, edge, or axis that I'd like to revolve about. In this case, my central axis here. Let's so take a look. This is just my normal revolve. Here we can see it's revolving 360 degrees about my suspension system. But if I take a look in the top left corner, I can not only change the angle, but also apply a height. So if I change the height here, let's say apply 10 millimeters. Now notice I'm still revolving 360 degrees but it's also adding a height of 10 millimeters. And I can change that height to 20 or 30 or whatever value I'd like. In this case, most likely, I'd like my spring to be going all the way up to the top of my suspension system. So in this case, I think that's 95 millimeters. Now you can see my spring is going to be going all the way from the bottom to the top of my suspension here. Of course, my angle is still 360 degrees, so that's one full revolution. But most likely for my spring here, I would like more revolutions. So I can change this value to actually go above 360 degrees as well. Maybe I throw in 720 degrees, which would be two full revolutions. Or whatever value I'd like for my specified angles. In this case, maybe I want to try 10 full revolutions. So I could throw in 3,600 degrees. And now see I have this nice helical spring coming in. Very easy to make, essentially just a revolve with a height. If we're happy with that, tap the done check. And now I have my suspension system with a nice helical spring. Again, this works in a very, very similar manner when trying to create threads. And I can do this for internal or external threads. So let's say I want to throw in some external threads on the top of my water bottle container here. Again, I jump into a, a right view. And I'm just going to use this very simple triangle as my thread profile, but of course you could use any closed sketch as your thread profile. So let's take a quick look at how to recreate these sketches needed to generate this thread here. Again, I might want to jump into a, a right view. And just like any other Evolve, I'm going to need two things. I'm going to need my closed profile sketch as well as the axis of rotation. So let's start with my closed profile sketch. That's just going to be the profile of my thread. 
In this case, a very simple example, just a, a triangle. So I can draw out a triangle here. Something like this. And then the important thing to note here is that I probably want my thread dead on my actual bottle. So I might need to move this around. Okay, And I'm going to move it to, say, my bottle here. So I can make sure it's dead on my bottle. Even if I was within my bottle slightly like this, that might be okay as well. Uh, because again, we can just use some union commands that we'll learn later on to, to join these two bodies. Uh, or dead on the object, you just probably wouldn't want it to be outside of the object like this, as then you're going to revolve around the object, your thread is going to be actually not on the bottle here. So I'm going to move it right into place, right about here, right on the edge of my bottom. Then of course I need the axis to revolve about as well. So if I don't have an axis, I can of course just draw one in. And so I'm going to use this line here as my axis to revolve about. So just the same, I'll go into my tools, my revolve, select my closed sketch, or my thread profile, in this case just this triangle here, and tap next, and then select the line edge or axis I'd like to revolve about, here I'm going to use my center axis, and just the same, see this is revolving 360 degrees about my central axis there. Just the same, I'd like to add a, a bit of a height here. If it's going in the wrong direction currently, it looks like. So let's try to change the direction. I'd like the height to be 2 centimeters. But maybe I want it to revolve a few times. So I'm going to change my angle here to maybe 720. And now I have a nice external thread being shown. or even 1080, and I have my external thread. If I'm happy with this, I can just tap the Done Check, and now notice I have this nice external thread applied to my water bottle. Now one handy little trick that I like to use is a real quick and easy way to close off external threads. What I can do is actually just revolve this thread profile about its own axis to close off that thread. So let's take a look at how that would look. I can jump into Tools, Revolve, select the face or closed sketch. I can select any existing face, so I'll just grab this face here and tap Next. And then the line or edge I'd like to revolve about. So I can use this existing line right here. And notice that kind of closes off my thread really nicely there. If I'm happy with that, tap the Done Check. And I could just do the exact same on the other end of my thread. Tools, Revolve, Triangular Face here, tap Next, and revolve about the central axis here. And tap done when we're happy. And now we can see I have a nice thread here and it's closed off on either end. So that's just one way we can close off our threads. In the next lesson we will learn the union, subtract, and intersect commands which can be very very useful especially when dealing with multiple bodies.